with a superhero! Where did I park my car? Panic has gripped the streets of Metropolis, but who will save the city now? Citizens, remain calm! Everything is under control! The control of... Super villains! Hiya! What? You bloody <laughs> Mr. J! <laughs> Everything is not okay! to join us! Uh, who, me? No, not you, dummy. I'm talking to the other guy. Please welcome Joshua Ovenshire, Arthur Parsons, Clancy Brown, Erica Luttrell, Ames Kirshen, and oh, Justin Ramsden. All right. Well, this is exciting. What's up? Welcome to E3. We did it, people. <laughs> this is the thing people dream about coming to, and we're here together. Now, this is really exciting because uh, not only are we just here at E3 celebrating all things video games, but also today we are talking about DC supervillains with the amazing cast and crew that made this game today. And we have here on our panel, to my right, we've got uh, Arthur Parsons. Now, you are the head of design for TT Games. I am, yeah. Thank and, you. And then, uh, of course, Clancy Brown, uh, an actor and voice of Lex Luthor in the game. And uh, another cast member, uh, actress and voice of Cheetah, we've got Erica Latrol. And then uh, all the way from DC, we have Ames Kirshner of uh, VP Interactive and uh, Animations at DC. <laughs> and then Justin Ramsden, all the way from LEGO headquarters. <laughs> Coming here as a lead designer, like you designed the Lego figures, like they 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 your babies. You make these parts of, but mainly the the models, yeah. models and sets. Well, this is really exciting. Well, we just saw the the announced trailer. That's what you we guys just saw here. Uh, it's been out for a few days now, but still, so many questions. What are we looking at? What's happening there? We, it, it, it's our opportunity to do what what DC does best, which is villains. Yeah, um, 100%. Everyone likes playing villains in any game we've ever made, and now we're getting to make the game front and center about DC's villains. Now, uh, speaking of villains, I think one of the greatest villains in just pop culture ever is showing up. We've got Joker and Harley Quinn next to him. Uh, but it kind of looks like they're in cahoots with the other villains. Like, this is a dangerous character, and he's working, he's playing nice there. Is that going to work out? <laughs> Um, yes, it's, it's a story that it's quite complicated, but I'll, sum, I'll try and summarize in like 20 seconds. Okay. So, <laughs> the bad guys always face off against the good guys. The good guys, the Justice League, the good guys end up vanishing and getting replaced by replacement good guys who are bad guys. Those bad guys are there <laughs> pretending to be good guys, but the bad guys realize that the good guys, that the replacements are actually bad guys, that are really bad guys, the bad guys try and stop those bad guys the that pretend to be good, good guys, guys, the bad guys, and then everything goes and then wrong, everything goes and then crazy. a really big bad guy turns up. So, so, there, ooh, so there's other bad guys with the good guys who are yeah. bad guys. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. <laughs> <laughs> yes. There we go. Uh, and then the <laughs> ending. We saw a lot of familiar faces, and then we see a character that's, that's changing up a lot of it. What's, what are we seeing there at the ending of that trailer? So this was something Ames and I worked on like really early on when we were coming up with the idea for this game. It's your own character. So, so when you play it, you get to create your own DC villain. But it's not just a cosmetic thing. That character follows you through the story. You upgrade that character. You power that character up. You assign powers. It becomes a character that is super important to the story and right at the end is vital to everything. That's, that's amazing. And now, we've never done that in the yeah, Lego game. The, the, I, you were describing it, I was like, I don't remember doing that before. So, never. And we're looking at like, a bunch of stuff you can do to make this character, not just a cosmetic. You change everything. Everything. Yeah, yeah. So, so everything that, that Justin and the crew do for the, for the models, we're allowing people to do digitally. So you can change okay. decals and colors and, and heads and, and facial features and you just stick every, every yeah, yeah, character it's crazy. throughout the game. Yeah. And we really? connected that character to the DNA of something in the DC lore that yeah. fans will love. Okay. Is it the same for every game, that uber boss? 
it is, that character will go through the story with the other DC villains and will be an, an integral part of the game. Okay. Yeah. Love it. Super. Cool. So you work uh, with that new character. Okay. But speaking of characters, there's a lot of characters in this game. We got some of the cast here. And one of my favorite things about the Legos game, Lego games have always been the cutscenes. Yeah. Uh, do you mind if we show maybe, do you guys want to see a cutscene of like some stuff that hasn't been seen yet for this game? Yeah. Groovy. Want to, want to do it? Let's do it. Let's, let's show some, uh, let's, some Lex Luthor. Stop right there, Luthor. Ah, Superman. I'm guessing a campfire is missing an overgrown boy <laughs> scout. And Stryker's prison kitchen is missing one bald-headed pot washer. I chop the vegetables now. Good for you. Now get back in your cell. I think not, Superman. I believe you've met... <clears throat> Metallo. He's too unstable to be outside that cell. Unstable for you, perhaps. His kryptonite core doesn't bother me one bit. Freedom! Now to get off this rock. Mm -hmm. You're not going anywhere. You really think you can stop me? <laughs> no, but we can. Oh, huh? Oh, yeah. Not so fast, ah! bad guys. Back off! It brings my face. Where's Batman? Said he had to take care of an emergency. Holly Quinn here, documenting another classic criminal caper. Mm. And now the star of this show, Mr. J. Ah, where is it? We just stole some Nino stuff, previously procured by Wayne. Mr. J and I love a good rabbit! Taken from all those suckers who are too honest to steal! <laughs> no, 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 it's not here! It's not here! Aw, oh, come on, Pudge! Say something yeah. funny for a few ways! Oh, not now, Pumpkin! Can you see I'm dizzy? Here, take this! Go. Ooh, pretty! Whatever it is! Nowhere to run, Joker! Relax! He'll never hit us way up there! <laughs> Two with one shot. Not bad. <laughs> Say cheese, <Yeah>. Bee Man! <laughs> what? Sounds like you're out of time, Bats! <laughs> That's fun. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, now, like you said, this is the first time you, we're actually just to be able to, like, we're putting the villains first. And, and with, with you two being able to play villains, yeah. I, is it true? Like, it, it's just, it's better being the bad guy, right? Is it more exciting, more fun to be a villain versus a hero? It's a lot more fun. Thank you, Erica. I love it. <laughs> Now, uh, with that, um, being able to play a villain versus a hero, what, what did you guys kind of bring to that? What kind of like, fun are you going to have like, in, the, in the booth when, when playing a villain? Well, this is the first time that it's actually, we've actually been the stars of the show. Mm -hmm. So that's nice. Yeah. Um, it, it's, but it's really not fun to play a good guy. Because we, there is a part where we play a good guy, and that wasn't very much fun. <laughs> no, it's Too so many not. rules as a no. good guy. No, there's just no. a lot more conflict if you're playing a villain. There's just a lot more to you. There's, mm -hmm. you know, like we all have things that we deal with and suffer with and whatever, and they manifest in different ways. And it's so interesting how it manifests as a villain because you just kind of let it go yeah. and scream like a kid. Yeah. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Good. Like, Villains are just heroes with a different agenda. There you <laughs> go. It's all based That's on perspective. Right. That's right. Now, in, in that cutscene, we saw, we saw the Justice League hanging out. But as, as I'm understanding, the Justice League isn't always there, and there's a, a new group of heroes, but villains or hero villains. Can you tell us about those characters? What's going on there? So what you're seeing there is uh, a new you know, Justice League is mysteriously vanished, and a new group of heroes shows up called the Justice Syndicate. Um, and no one quite knows what to make of this new group. They seem a little suspicious. And our, our, our protagonists here the Legion of Doom, led by obviously the likes of Lex Luthor and Cheetah, Joker, Harley. Um, they've got to do their own investigation of what's going on here, protect their turf, because these are newbies, don't look right. So that's okay. the crux of our story. That's fun. Uh, now, 
there's been so many Lego games, all of which very fun. You know, this one doing super villains. Where did that idea come from? <laughs> Was it kind of like, a, why haven't we done this yet? So. About a year and a half ago, Arthur called me. I was on the way to the office, and he said, okay, we're ready to start talking about the next LEGO DC game. And he said, we can do anything. And he, both of us just kind of automatically gravitated to villains. Good. We wanted to mix it up. We wanted to do something new, fresh, and unique. We, you know, we had three amazing LEGO Batman games. We started to slowly but surely open up the DC universe in each, with each subsequent release. And this time, we're like, you know what? One of DC's biggest strengths is the breadth and depth of supervillains that we have. <laughs> Let's make a game where we get to play baddies. Let's do it. Nice. It's yeah. all working. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, and with so many characters, it, it, there is also like a good healthy mix between male villains and female villains. Was this by design, or was it just because the, the DC library just has so many great villains? I, I think it's just because the library has so many absolutely amazing villains mm -hmm. yeah the, the vibrancy the colors yeah and and you have got characters like like cheetah and harley that are forefront it, yeah it, it's just a great roster yeah um, top to bottom absolutely like, yeah i think that's two of our more iconic pillars at dc is the the super villains that we have they're so recognizable for decades in comics and media and obviously our female characters so strong and recognizable too you know harley quinn cheetah wonder woman just to name a few mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it, it, and it, it is that thing that we, we the, the villain thing came up because a long time ago, 2008, when we did Lego Batman 1, um, it does feel like a long time ago, doesn't it? Like, <laughs> there wasn't years. even any voice work in that game. Ten years, yeah. That was still, ah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so so when, when we did that one, you, you played heroes, but there was also, you could play villains as well. Right. And, and those villain missions were, in my mind, the best bit. And for 10 years, I've been wanting to make a villain game. Took and the, you 10 years and, 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 and year. And, and, yeah, and it's the, right there. And the team have been wanting to do it. So, you know, game development is a long iterative process. Of so course. Yeah. We had, a, we, you know, 10 years of uh, Lego games in between. We've been incubating this, this for a long time. That's right. Right. But yeah, you got to remember, you got to go in the Batcave and play as the, you know, the Batman family. And then you got mm -hmm. to switch to Arkham and play as the villains. And, you know, to Arthur's point, we get more feedback about playing the villains in Lego Batman 1 than anything. We're like, oh, we were onto something there. Yeah, definitely. Great. Uh, now, I, I, just news that I'm really gravitating towards is the ability to create my own LEGO character and have that be a part of the story. We actually do have uh, another video really focusing on the creations uh, that you can create in this game. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. I have my own LEGO character. <laughs>
<laughs> Do they all take that long to make? <laughs> I, I didn't doubt you. I didn't doubt you at all. But when you said a lot, that's a lot, a lot. There's yeah. a lot to that. Well, you're only seeing the surface level there. What you're not seeing there, that was a lot of the cosmetics, and it's amazingly deep, all the cosmetic choices you have there and your gadgets and whatnot, but the actual gameplay mechanics that you can choose for your character, Arthur. Yeah, because you can assign powers. Oh, because like every level character has different things that they can do. So yeah, you and you can assign them. And, 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 and as you upgrade as well, you can assign beams. So I can have beams from my eyes, like Superman, or I can do it from hand, two hands from my chest. And it, the, the options are endless. And in answer to what you said, Clancy, there's, a, there's also a button that says randomize and go. <laughs> <laughs> Which is my favorite button, because then you don't know what you're going to get. It's like, boom. Right. And it's... It, it's Amazing. Good. Now, uh, with Justin, you, you, make, you design these Lego figures, but now we get to do the same thing. Is the process kind of the same? Do you, do you sit in the office, hit the random button? Like how, yeah, how randomize is this process and go. compared to do. your process? Um, yeah, so it's, it's much similar to the, the whole Lego experience and the fact that you've got yeah, random parts of minifigures that you can join together in, and then you're ready to play. Um, and it, it's an amazing how many options that they've got. And, it's just really brilliant to see that kids can be well even better than Lego designers because not only do they get to design the figures, but then they actually get to play with it in the game, mm -hmm. which is something that we can only see on screen. Well, so. Obviously, yeah, it's such a big part of like growing up with Lego. Like you make your pieces and then you play with it. Uh, but now this is this is what we're seeing in game. There, there's all these Legos in game. Uh, but as as a fan that that maybe has a room with a lot of Lego figures and loves DC, is there anything you can tell us about any upcoming DC Lego playsets? Yes, so there's a few, and in fact, you already saw one of the, the sets that's coming out in August, um, so it's the Bat Jet. Um, we've also got like a Bat Trike that's coming out, and, and most importantly for me, the, uh, so there's an RC Batmobile as well. So what? So it's really, really cool. Uh, so really? It may, may show Sorry. up in the back of a game. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, really exciting. Yeah, there's a load of great figures as well, such as yeah, the ba Ace the Bat Hound and Omax there and Batwoman, and it's all these great fan favorites that we finally put in plastic form, which also get to be in the game. So. That's, that's really cool. Uh, now, speaking of figures... Uh, we have a special figure that comes with the special edition. Uh, do you want to show us what we're working with here? Oh, oh just Clancy's like, going. Clancy's got it right yeah. there. Well, yes. Now, who, who is that, Clancy? Who are we looking at? That looks like Lex Luthor in a s weird Superman costume. Hybrid suit. <laughs> I, Maybe you could explain this, DC and Lego <laughs> man. <laughs> So as, as part of our rebirth uh, a, few, a few summers ago that we launched, uh, Lex Luthor uh, became a part of the Justice League. Uh, and uh, you know, he sees himself as the ultimate human. We don't need beings from other planets to protect our world. He is the ultimate human being. He is the epitome of humanity. He is humanity Superman. So he made his own, you know, he, Lex is always known to have his power suit. That's kind of his go-to kind of costume. But now he made his own where he is the Superman for hu humanity. And that is and an exclusive is. Uh, yeah. minifig that we're having for the game. Yeah, so when people pre-order the game at GameStop, this is what you get. But, you, but get. You, you get it. Unfortunately, Clancy can't make them all, so <laughs> they come in this lovely poly bag. And obviously it's yeah. in the game and playable. Yeah, absolutely. Now, um, so we'll, I want to talk more about the figure in, in a few moments, but... Will we have more of these? More of the... <laughs> He's going to need a room for... More them. Lex Luthor? Well... Speaking will of more, more Lex Luthor, we've got to spread the love, Clancy. We oh, will, there all be, to will, there be, will there be a cheetah? Yeah, I take a cheetah. Or sure. a Harley, or a yeah. I mean, all Mercy. of these are you know based on the existing Lego figures. So yeah, we're gonna have physical versions of all of them. Hey, if you want, Clancy, you and me, we'll go down to the Lego <laughs> store. We'll get like the whole collection. Now. I want to make sure Lego makes their money from this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I need to know, like this, this isn't the first time you've been Lex Luthor. What is it about the character that that brought you back to him? Um. Being paid? That's always good. <laughs> that is nice. It's just, it's what you said. He's, the, he's humanity's ultimate human. He's particularly uh, relevant these days, I think. Well, A businessman who, who wants to rule the world Krokos. in his particular businessman <laughs> kind comics, of way. In the comics, yeah. Rises to power, yeah. 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 Uh, but I think, you know, when we had the likes of, you know, we brought up Kevin and Mark, uh, you know, the seminal voices of these mm -hmm. characters for the last, you know, 20 plus years, Good you know, for sure. Arthur and I, you know, Clancy is the ultimate voice of Lex Luthor and he had to be in this game. You know, it's now 22 years since he debuted in Superman, the animated series. Oh, and uh, to say 20. You know? 
we had to bring the whole ensemble back of the, you know, those seminal shows that are, you know, definitive versions of the DC characters. Great, and I, I think the... He the doesn't fans, age, that's the other thing. That's also great. <laughs> um, he doesn't look in 22 years older. <laughs> when, when you're bringing life to, to Lex Luthor, what do you like to bring to this character to kind of make him yours? It depends what the script is. You, mm -hmm. you know, the, the, the Lego game scripts are always, they're a little different than the, than the, the animation scripts, the JLU scripts and all they're that. They're hilarious. They're hilarious. <laughs> they're great jokes. They're, they're, Just lots um, of jokes. Lots of great jokes, mm -hmm. lots of great things that you couldn't do in a feature or in, a, or in an animated feature or in, a, or in the series. You just, just couldn't violate that. With. But silly. But for some reason, when you, put it, when you put them in a Lego figure, you can get away with That's all right. sorts of horrible yeah. things, yep. all sorts and, of great jokes. And, and speaking of which, like, this, like the, the jokes, the, the, the comedy, it, it's, it's all very outrageous, just like the story. What was it like trying to bring together such an outrageous story, and now with villains who kind of don't really follow other people's rules, just their own? Like, what was that like putting that story together? That, that's the best bit. That, when, when, when Ames and I were talking, like the, the first thing we put at the top was, was villains, obviously. Um, the second thing was that, that we wanted this to be the funniest Lego game ever. Remember when the that conversation... Was the quote, yeah, that was the was mandate, like, yeah. yeah I, I was like, Ames, it's going to be the funniest Lego game ever. And he was like, w w explain. And I was just <laughs> like, right, we've, you've got bad guys doing bad things. So that's funny anyway, especially in a Lego game. But then you've got bad guys realizing... And we're going, we're going back to the good guy, bad guy thing. You've got bad guys remembering and realizing that these, these pretend good guys are bad guys, trying to do something about it, but they're bad guys. They're actually not very good <laughs> at, at being good. At being, they don't, they don't for them. play well together for them. necessarily. Not as harmonious as yeah. the Justice League, so that yeah. kind of writes itself in terms of the fun interactions yeah. and mm -hmm. scenes you get between yeah. the villains. But, and the other thing is, is seeing the Justice Syndicate <laughs> trying, trying to, to pose as the Justice League. Right. You know, Owlman trying to, 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 to go about business as Batman and Ultraman That's and okay. everything. And, uh, Seeing it, that combination is going to be fun. It's like, yeah. And, and it is, it's hilarious. And our writing team just, just smashed it. Good. Like the, these, the, the, the sessions that, that these guys and the rest of the cast did, we're, we're listening in and it's fun. I would, have, I would imagine you were like died laughing just like going like all, over all those takes and just having fun with it. Yes, some of the things that get said, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, the figure will be available uh, through the yeah. special edition of the game. Is that yeah, correct? through the deluxe edition. The deluxe edition at, of the game. At GameStop. So that's going to come with. That can be pre-ordered uh, now. That's going to come with the season pass. You'll also have early access to the DLC characters. You'll get the yeah. minifig, which is really fun. And yeah. uh, there's another video that I really want us to get to, okay. and it, it, it's something that you guys will be able to talk about while the video is playing. Oh, yeah. The open world. Yeah, the we open have world time. We, we, I'm making time. I'm so, making time for this. This is the, the, yeah, lots of people that are, that are dialing in would, would dialing in. You don't dial in anymore. <laughs> what am I saying? Yeah, and you're, you know, 56K modem. You yeah, dial there we go. In. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah the, the tuning in, watching. Sure, so let's, uh, on the let's, internet. let's go ahead and show the, uh, the open world hub. And uh, okay, you can kind of give us a little description of what we're looking at as we go to this video. Okay, cool. So the game, the game is hugely expansive, but the open world that we've got for LEGO DC Supervillains features Gotham. Um, we also have Metropolis, don't we, Ames? Which is, which is great merging in together. And you'll see this is, this is like an early snapshot to show people the scope and the scale of everything we've got in here. Um, and obviously in amongst the city, we, we have all the amazing locations that people would expect to be in Metropolis and Gotham. Um, there we go as we go around there. Um, but it's a lot bigger than that. We have an area of Smallville, don't we, Ames? Yes, um, we do. We also have uh, Strikers Island, um, Amusement Mile, which we might get a glimpse here as we go, go through, down here through the roadway. Um, and this is, it's huge. And all of this ties and links the story together. Um, we've also got, as we go through, through this section here, we're going to end up looking at, uh, at Arkham. You can't not have Arkham. We've got Bell Reeve. As well, yes. Um, Wouldn't be a DC villains game without the Suicide Squads. No, absolutely. Right? Um, one of the things that we can't show that's part of the hub, but everyone will be excited by, is um, <coughs> Apocalypse. <coughs> oh yeah, Apocalypse. <coughs> apocalypse. That, that place <laughs> in the DC universe. So obviously that means you know, and you see it here in the key art. You know, Darkseid and his and his merry men and women are part of this game and. Um, it, Apocalypse is another amazing location you'll get to explore and play in and more to come on that as we reveal more throughout the campaign. Yeah, definitely. Uh, now, because it's E3, 
we're hungry for information. We saw some of the locations there. Is there any other locations you can kind of hint at, talk about? Maybe they'll show up in the hub. Tower. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, the Watchtower. Watchtower. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I've, I've yeah, probably I mean, said are, there, too there's, much there's, already. There's other DC worlds yeah. Yeah, that you're so, going to so, visit. So, you know, if, if you know yeah. of a DC location there, you know, it might be safe. It pretty much. Show up. Pretty, I mean, certainly, like Arthur said, with Metropolis and Gotham mm. represented all the key locations, yeah, fun locations in the Iceberg universe. Iceberg Lounge. That's, yep. that's pretty cool. Yep. Fortress of Solitude. No. <laughs> can't remember. Okay. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, back okay. cave. Okay. Now, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. you're, Ames, you're at DC and you're also helping with this game. W what is that balance like? Are, are, you, are you still working with some of like, the DC comic stuff that's happening while balancing out with the, the Lego stuff? Yeah, so I work primarily, you know, in like kind of creative development with the game team at, you know, Warner Brothers Games and the studios like TT and, and then also I oversee our animation development with Warner Brothers Animation. So, and, but, you know, obviously we're a very close-knit unit at DC. You know, I know what's going on in the comics and uh, working really closely. You know, Jeff Johns obviously is our, you know, uh, was my boss as of, of yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, and Jim Lee, he was, you know, our, uh, our publisher and now our chief creative officer. So we all work very harmoniously to make sure that all the things that are going on across the DC universe uh, are represented in all the different amazing projects we have going on across the company. Good. Uh, now, as we come to the end of this, we actually do have time. We have some questions that we got from the Facebook live stream. Uh, so really quickly, I want to get this question in there. Because, and, and please applaud if you agree with Lily uh, Staffield when she says, please tell me Lobo will be in this game. Come on, you know you want Lobo in this game. I, 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 I can't answer that. Okay, you can't <laughs> answer that. But you Great. could make him. Well, guys, you, thank you. Could you make him? <laughs> if you want, if, like, if, if he's not, you yeah, can absolutely. make him. You can make, you can you can make, make anything you want. Lobo. Well, make guys, a better Lobo. <laughs> this, this is amazing. This game looks amazing. Uh, and I'm glad that all of you were able to see this and, and be able to experience more from this game. So thank you for taking time out of your E3 to show us Lego. DC Super Villains. I'm excited. I'm excited. Good. Good. All right. Thank you so much, guys.